Right, that nasty weather that rolled through the Newsplex viewing area around 3 p.m. It delayed the start of the Super Regionals at Davenport Field. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Travis Koshko for an update on the current situation. What a mess out there, wasn't it, Travis? Indeed, Carlos. A few minutes. Travis, thanks very much. It was that lightning that caused officials to delay the start of the Super Regionals College Baseball Tournament at Davenport Field and asked fans and players to evacuate the field and the stands. CBS 19's Jessica Jaglo is there at the height of the evacuations. She's live now in the Newsplex with more on that story. Hi, Jessica. Hey there, Michelle and Paul. Trevante Schmidt uh, had his preliminary hearing today. He's the guy accused of putting a, f a mask over his face, putting a handgun in his pocket, and walking into LNA Market. Now, when he does so, he pulls the handgun on the clerk and puts it to his face. Now, that was his first big mistake because the clerk is a former Marine, not this woman. His second mistake was this surveillance video, which caught it all on tape. His third mistake was that the clerk's dad was watching from behind. He came over, grabbed the bad guy from the arm. They struggled. They fell down here. Now, look at this. The gun went off, a bullet hole going right into the ice cream machine. Luckily, the gun jammed. They all fell to the ground. Now, that's when customers jammed, jumped into the fray picking up pickle jars and bashing them over the head. Here's where the case stands now. Let's roll the videotape. Oh, Carlos, I know that kitchen well. Well, th that's not fair, Michelle, because I was going to direct a question at you, which was... Yes. I, name any Packers paraphernalia, any Packers paraphernalia, and I almost guarantee you that I'll be able to find it. Go ahead. All right. I would like to see something about Bart Starr. Bart Starr. Bam. Right there. <laughs> Excellent. Name another well one. Let's have fun. Bart I can do this all day. Okay, I come can on. Do... Let's trip him up, Paul. Yeah, uh, pl play stump the bartender, Paul. Uh, you know, it, it looks like they're well stocked there, Carlos. <laughs> I, I don't know that I could come up with something that would uh, not be in that Street kitchen. Street signs. Look, world cha world championship ring. Ooh. Hang on there, right? Hold on one second. Okay, we're with you, man. That's when the manager shoots off three rounds from his own weapon. One shot goes into a box sitting on the shelf. The second one goes through that plastic divider you'll see here. But this is the crucial shot. Take a look at this. This is the one that went through the lower part of the plastic divider. That's where Matthew Felder was hit in the chest when he turns around as he stumbles out the door. Amazingly, the suspect having taken around a hollow point bullet from a Glock 27 40 caliber handgun manages to run a city block. Few people question the fact that something needs to be done about illegal immigration. What many people are having a problem with now is the fact that the governor of Arizona has signed legislation that requires police to mandatorily question those they suspect are in the country illegally. Yes. It's racism. Jim Jennifer, the body of that unidentified, yet unidentified pilot taken away by a local funeral home about one hour ago. The body transported to the medical examiner's office in Richmond, where they will determine the exact cause of death. An investigator with the Federal Aviation Administration on the scene now about 45 minutes ago. We're still awaiting the arrival of an investigator from the National Transportation Safety Board. Highway 33, uh, Jefferson Highway, took a look behind me, reopened the coalition to preserve McIntyre Park. We'll stop at nothing to see the park kept the way it is. That includes fighting the construction of Meadow Creek Parkway by asking several environmental groups for their help. Today, the coalition held a forum. CBS 19's Liz Palka is live in the Newsplex after attending that meeting and to getting people involved in their cause. Good evening, Liz. Hey there, Paul. It happened at this very intersection, and thanks to merchants putting up area surveillance cameras, it was all caught on videotape, and that led police to make an arrest just yesterday. Take a look. Hey, Paul, it is everywhere just outside our own studios. Take a look, a 10-foot wall of snow on the other side of this huge wall, which is about 40 feet long, is Holly Road. You ever wonder where all of this snow goes? Well, we found one of those places. Take a look. You're looking at about only half of the 11,000 cubic yards of snow that have been placed here. And if you wonder why here, well, there's a good reason for that, too. That's 150,000 tons, the weight equivalent to 750 elephants. Jim, unlike a lot of other states, Virginia has that magic 80 mile an hour number. That means if you're driving 80 miles an hour or more over the speed limit, you may be automatically facing that reckless driving charge. Now, why does that matter to a lot of drivers? Take a look. So Greg goes up and down these streets, clearing the snow, burying cars in. Folks come out, dig themselves out leave come back only to find that greg has come by and buried them in again sometimes in about three and a half feet of snow as you can see here 
And who's to pay for it? Well, this resident, Manolo, on the south side of Milwaukee. Sheriff Clark has put 41 full-time squad cars into commission on this crackdown on drunk driving during the New Year's Eve period. This is a transport vehicle, an idea he came up with so that the transport vehicle can go out, pick up the drunk drivers, fit at least 10 of them, and not put the squad cars out of commission. Just a little more than five months after LJ, as he was called here in the neighborhood, was taken down by gunshots at Playmakers, things getting back to normal, or almost. The manager here says she's the only one standing after that day. Everybody else quit. But the reward for the conviction and finding the suspects still stands at $10,000. We begin, though, with Carlos Figuero with more on how this all happened. Carlos? Good evening, Joel. The three construction workers were killed when the steel and wood platform they were standing on simply gave way. They fell from the 26th floor to the 25th floor, and in all likelihood, as authorities tell us tonight, they simply drowned in the drying concrete behind, below them. An American ship being held by Somali pirates escaped by jumping from the lifeboat he was in for the past four days. In the process, U.S. Navy SEALs shot and killed three of his four captors off the coast of Africa. And two pirates were killed during the rescue. President Barack Obama reportedly ordered the Navy to send SEAL teams to attack the pirates holding the ship captain. The commander-in-chief says he's pleased that Phillips was rescued and that Captain Richard Phillips has courage that is, quote-unquote, a model for all Americans. Esta noche en su noticiero Telemundo, Wisconsin, el hombre acusado de matar dos inocentes en un accidente automovilístico enfrenta al juez. Una mula puertorriqueña está otra vez en Estados Unidos. ¿Cómo fue que terminó como traficante de drogas a España? ¿Y cómo se celebró el 5 de mayo alrededor de Milwaukee? Hi, I'm Carlos Vergara, and this is RCN News in English for Monday, November 10th. Let's get right to it, shall we? Our top story, volcanic activity in Cajamarca, that's in the state or the Department of Tolima. And if that isn't enough, it's causing landslides and panic for those trying to flee the area around the very scary pressure cooker. RCN Samara Garcia is in the RCN studios with more on this breaking news situation. Samara?